Okay, differentiate sine x from first principles. So if we imagine we've got y equals sine x, and we've got an x coordinate of x, so if x is x, sine, no, if x is x, y equals sine x. And if x, if we move it along a tiny amount, and call that h, so if x, our x coordinate is x plus h, y is equal to sine x plus h. And we're going to work out the gradient. So we're going to have x1, y1, x2, y2. And the gradient is the change in the y over the change in the x. So it's going to be the change in the y, y2 minus y1. So sine x plus h minus sine x over x2 minus x1, which is x plus h minus x. So that's sine x plus h minus sine x over the bottom we've got x plus h minus x and that's just h. So we've got sine x plus h and we're going to change that using our addition formula for sine a plus b. So sine a plus b is sine a cos b plus cos a sine b. So we're going to use that addition formula to change sine x plus h. So we're going to change a to x, b to h. So that's sine x cos h plus cos x sine h. And we've got minus sine x and it's still over h. Okay, now we're going to use our small angle approximations. So cos h, cos h is small, cos h is approximately equal to 1 minus h squared over 2. So cos h becomes 1 minus h squared over 2. And sine h becomes just h. So sine h is approximately equal to h. I've still got minus sine x. And it's all over h. So I'm going to expand the brackets now. So sine x times 1 is sine x. Sine x times minus h squared over 2 is minus h squared over 2 sine x. H times cos x is h cos x. And I've still got the minus sine x. And it's all over h. Okay, simplifying, I've got sine x minus sine x on top. And sine x minus sine x is nothing. So that leaves me with minus h squared over 2 sine x plus h cos x, all over h. I'm going to divide through by h now, so h squared minus h squared over 2 sine x, divide by h is minus h over 2 sine x, and h cos x over h is just cos x. And now the limit as h approaches 0, this will give me 0 times sine x, which will be 0. So that will just leave me with cos x. So if y equals sine x, dy dx is equal to cos x. Okay, this question says differentiate cos x from first principles. If we've got y equals cos x, and x was x. If x is x, what's y? 
y is cos x. And if we had x plus a tiny amount, and we'll call that h, so x plus h, if that's x, then the y is cos x plus h. So then we're going to find the gradient. So we're going to have x1, y1, x2, y2. And the gradient is the change in the y. So that's cos x plus h minus, well, the change in the y. So cos x plus h minus cos x over the change in x, which is x plus h minus x so x2 minus x1 so y2 minus y1 on top x2 minus x1 on the bottom and then we're going to simplify this so we've got cos a plus b so cos a plus b so from our double angle formula we know that cos a plus b is cos a cos b minus sine a sine b so cos a plus b is cos a cos b minus sine a sine b so we've got cos we're going to change a to x change b to h so cos x plus h is cos x cos h minus sine x sine h and we've got minus cos x on top. And on bottom, we've got x plus h minus x, which is just h. OK, so h is small. h is a small angle. So we can change cos h into 1 minus h squared over 2. So we're going to change cos h into 1 minus h squared over 2 and we're going to si change sine h into h so so we've used our small angle approximations to change cos h into 1 minus h squared over 2 and sine h has been changed into just h. So now I'm going to expand this bracket. So cos x times 1 is cos x. Cos x times minus h squared over 2. It's just minus h squared over 2 cos x. I've got minus h sine x and minus cos x and that's still all over h okay now i'm going to divide through no i'm not i'm going to take away these cos x's first so i've got cos x take away cos x which they cancel and that leaves me with minus h squared over 2 cos x minus h sine x all over h now i'm going to divide through by the h so what does that leave me h squared over h is just h so that's minus h over 2 cos x minus sine x h sine x over h is just sine x And now let's look what happens. So the limit as h approaches 0 is going to be, so h is going to approach 0. This will be 0 times cos x, which is 0. So that just leaves me with minus sine x. So if y equals cos x, dy dx equals minus sine x.